We're standing on the old Kirikiri Mission Station site with Millie, who is a visitor host for Pauheri Taonga, Heritage New Zealand. And behind us, you can see some old buildings. And this is a significant site and really important buildings for, historically, for all of New Zealand. That's Millie. right, Andrew. Um, you've got the oldest stone building in Aotearoa, um, dating back from the 1830s. And then you've got this beautiful Cody. Georgian style whare um, from the 1820s which is the oldest remaining building in Aotearoa and it's nestled amongst this beautiful landscape um, just down from the pa, Kororipo pa, right next to the um, awa or the river known as Te Awa o Te Rangatira so it is a really um, beautiful area and we get people from all over New Zealand, all over Aotearoa. We also get our locals that come in, um, visitors from all over the world. And what they get to see is pretty much almost um, like a living um, experience. What I mean by that is um, they go on a guided tour through the house here. Um, that house has got the original collection dating back from the time that it was built right up until 1974 um, when it was gifted over to the rest of New Zealand or Heritage New Zealand um, so you get to see things from different generational perspectives the stone store as much as it's the oldest store in New Zealand um, the top of it is a museum which is a walkthrough of the history and the bottom is still trading today except that we don't use pigs and potatoes <laughs> we have pay wave but that experience, that visitor experience is, you know, is the key to it, isn't it? Because, you know, you, you see and interact with the people and so, you know, what do you feel is the real value of having a heritage site like this that people can come in and experience? It's hugely, hugely valuable. It, it's valuable to connect. It's valuable as a learning tool for the old and for the young as well. Um, it's a good introduction into New Zealand's history. Um, the site down here was prior to the Treaty of Waitangi, um, which is where a lot of people assume our history in Aotearoa with European and Māori begins, but this time is um, a time before that. Um, it was a different time. There was a time in Aotearoa where two different cultures were coexisting alongside each other, and they were doing it really well. But the excitement is not just in the buildings, um, it's in the landscape that we have down here as well, and it's to be enjoyed by everybody. Um, some people will come not knowing anything, um, but when they leave, um, it started a ripple effect for them to be on their own journey, um, find out their own history sometimes, or go and look at other properties um, throughout New Zealand as well. And I guess that's where the challenge comes in. So where, wherever you are, in the motu, in your or here, find out those special places those heritage places that you could discover more about and learn about a bit the past uh, you know, that informs where we are today and even going into the future. Definitely, we still um, have enough heritage in New Zealand physically to look at. Um, you get to dwell on what might have been and how things have changed um, so much these days and yet we still look to the past for some of the answers to help us in the future that we're living in or about to live in sometimes. Kia ora, Millie. Kia ora, Andrew.